My name's Seku. I play drums for Big Rack. I thought I'd make a vlog. I hate that word. Currently, we're on the road opening for Daughtry, Chris Daughtry. Uh, the tour started in Boston and it's ending here in San Antonio, Texas. There's a lot that goes on every day. There's a lot of different aspects with the crew and the different members of the band and management stuff. But this is just kind of a day in the life of a, a typical, you know, day for us and, and what it looks like from beginning to end. Uh, there's some show footage in there and, and just some behind the scenes stuff of, uh, you know, how we put the show on, how we make things happen and how hard the guys work. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, I might make more of these, but uh, I don't know. This is just kind of a, a first attempt to see if it's something that people would want to see and, you know, if it is, I might make more. But anyways, enjoy. Leave comments. I'd love to hear some feedback on what I'm missing. You know, what you guys like or didn't like about it. All right? Uh, enjoy. Well, here it is. Our convertible home away from home on a tour bus. Um, we got lucky this run that we got a bus that was actually fairly bright. Usually all this stuff is kind of dark wood and with the tinted windows it can actually be very difficult at certain times of the day to see. Um, you know, you have runner lights and things like that, but it's just nice to have um, a bright bus. It just makes you feel, you know, feel better. We're fortunate also to have uh, a slide out bus so it's hard to tell as we're in here, but when this bus is rolling down the highway, this whole section uh, is slid in like this. Uh, when we're stationary, this hydraulically, the driver can pull this out so we kind of have more room here uh, just to hang out. So that's a nice little luxury to have. Um, there's a little kitchenette over here. We got some donuts. I I bought everyone some donuts just to put smiles on faces. Uh, there's our bathroom in here. This is what we call bunk alley. Uh, that's where all the sleeping pods are. There are 12 here. Um, I sleep there. Uh, and we have junk bunks where you can just toss your stuff. So band and crew sleeps here. Um, it gets a little crowded, but you know, you figure out how to kind of work around people and how to walk around people and stuff, and it's you figure it out in no time. It's it's uh, it's nice. This is our back lounge, which should be usually for more chilling. But Ian and Chris and Dave and I tend to store our luggage here, so we don't have to go into the underside of the the bus, the bunk bays, to to get changed or to get our stuff. Um, uh, during the right before shows, Ian will practice back here and warm up his vocals. Um, got a nice TV here. There's our front of house guys. Hawaiian shirts that he really likes. I might steal off him. I don't know yet. I'm, I haven't decided. Um, and that's it. That's our, our home away from home. You know, buses are cool. It's nice to have them for sure. It's definitely better than the van. But at the end of the day, this is a, you know, it's kind of a submarine, right? Like, you're kind of living on top of other people. So you have to be, you know, willing to deal with people snoring and people being up late night partying or uh or you know up early mornings and stuff like that and you know once you can figure that out it's uh it's actually quite nice and it's uh it's a pleasant experience anyway that's our bus All right, 
Who are you? My name is Brett Haggerty. All right, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Right, what are you doing out here? I'm helping you. Uh huh. Making your drum tech, making your drums sound nice and look nice and keeping them look nice. That you do. Who did you work for before this? Tell the people. The only other band I really worked for is I'm on the Earth. Okay. Yeah. They're my main guys. And now you're, you're and now my, you're main, my guy. main guys. All right, good stuff. How do you find working with the crew? Awesome. Yeah? They feel very welcome immediately. Everyone's been absolutely amazing. You learning a lot? Yeah. Okay, what's it like work with me? Be honest, but also be smart. <laughs> I think it's awesome. As, as I said, you're, you take drumming seriously. You're a serious drummer. So I think we've been getting along really well. Yeah. And I, I appreciate the amount of work you put into the craft, and it clearly shows. A lot of fun talking and nerding out over drums. So. Yeah, absolutely. Talking right. about bearing edges and stuff. That's right. <laughs> Good to meet you. Thanks, man. Thank you. thing was a little different, no? He was get, but he was getting it where he's like, I'm seeing the amp. Charlie, you okay? Sorry. Charlie, I don't think I have So what was it? I'm just gonna twist the twist lock candle. Oh!
That's you guys all right? Hey, Charlie. Yes. Are you okay? I have the benefits. Well, let's do this. Let's throw house music and the lighting look, and then we can still have me work up until we have your own entry. Oh, I will do that. Hey, Seku. Hey, Chris. Have you ever heard of Niagara Falls Music Live Festival? Isn't that the event where Niagara Falls celebrates music in a big way with over 50 performances at 20 plus venues over three nights? That's the one. Oh. We're going to be there. Big wreck. That's us. That's us. June 11th. And with who? Our good buddies, Texas King. Texas King! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.
go up to the sidewalk, Joss? Yeah. Great. Thank you. That was a day in life of us being openers on the Dock Tree Tour. We generally do our own tours, but those are usually up in Canada. So when we're down here, we're trying to make new friends and new fans. To do that, it means we open for great people like Chris Dockery and his band and crew. We want to thank them. They were really incredible to us in our crew. And they made things work in a lot of situations where we didn't have a lot of space or time. But hopefully that um, gives you guys an insight of some of the stuff we deal with. Some of the ways we try to problem solve pull off a show often with uh, things working against us. Again, I'll maybe do another one of these. I don't know. Um, this is my first time doing it. I edited all myself. I shot all myself. So I don't know if I'm any good at it. We'll see. If, it, uh, if people get something out of it, then maybe something we'll do again. For now, that is it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and uh, hopefully see you out there on tour someday soon. Things went a little sideways for CJ. His bus, the tour bus, lit on fire. And CJ was trained that if the bus were to light on fire, he is supposed to abandon it, call the police, call the fire department, get a safe distance away. But CJ knew he had all of Big Rex's gear on the back of this bus. So what he does is he gets out, unhitches the trailer, gets back in the burning bus, drives 10 meters down the road to make sure the gear is safe, and then calls the authorities. I'm going to go ahead and put this up at rock95.com if you want to go check it out. Nazareth on the way.